So, hi, my name is Anna Kira Biksh. And I'm Karolina Szymanski, and you are listening to Cat Talks. Double G, U, double T. I'm really curious, like, how our brains work or why are we the way we are? Especially, I think it's useful when you facilitate people or when you work with people and design, it's all about solving problems for people. I think understanding how our brains work, why do we do um, the way we do things, uh, got me into these books. And then you read about stuff, like I keep uh, repeating this one, but that the same part of your brain processes physical and social pain, and that in theory, you can um, sort of lessen your emotional pain by taking a painkiller, you know, those kind Not of only things. in theory, also in practice. In pra and this is just like, poof, yeah. yeah, it's, it's just, it, for me, it was mind blowing, you know, mm -hmm. these kind of things that we know about our own brain already, and we're not using this in practice. And, 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 and yeah. To make it even kind of worse that we're not using this in practice, like the um, original experiment or the first experiment that got famous that they did on um, kind of, you know, the same part of your brain processes physical pain and social pain. It's like the social pain um, is really very low in this experiment. Like the social pain oh. comes from you watching a cartoon and the cartoon characters are throwing balls to you and throwing balls to each other. And at some point they stop throwing the ball to you. Like they never pass the ball through, through you. And that yeah. already elicits social pain in your brain. And that pain you can already alleviate with taking a painkiller. But, you know, compared to an actual situation where kind of, you know, your colleagues are not really talking to you and you feel excluded, that's a really a very low level um, kind of social pain. And already this yeah. elicits like a pain response in your brain. Exactly, exactly. So I thought, okay, I want to now, <coughs> pardon, I want to now mix neuroscience and design. And as I started researching neuroscience, I was like, okay, we cannot curse on this podcast, can we? <laughs> I was you like, can do whatever you want. <laughs> you can do whatever. I was like, okay, this, this is just like, I cannot spend the next 10 years, you know, studying neuroscience and it just doesn't make sense. It makes sense to partner up with somebody, um, who understands these things. And um, I got a recommendation from somebody from the co-creation school that I'm also part of. And he said, oh yeah, I saw this woman talking about <laughs> neurodesign, etc." And I would Google Caroline, uh, Carolina, and I would watch her videos um, and her lectures, make notes, etc. And I was like, okay, I'm just gonna talk to her. Mm -hmm. And I think because I was so passionate about neuroscience and mixing it with the design I got sort of the courage to annoy her <laughs> because I, I don't think I've ever done this in before like if somebody wouldn't reply I would be just okay yes you know but um, I'm, I'm so glad I did and so a huge personal learning if somebody doesn't reply it's not because they don't want to it's just because they exactly <laughs> yes yes such a big learning yeah, <laughs> yeah so that's a, a that's it yeah so that's how we got it. Yeah, we designed a course together. Um, that I took. The, yeah. I took the prototype, I think, yeah. Um, and then after that, I mean, currently our paths have sort of a little bit moved away, but I'm not excluding that we won't collaborate in the future because uh, it's still very interesting topics. Yeah, because it's will. interesting in terms of the journey, because I know, Caroline, as well, you did, uh, you spent some time uh, in Milan at Sacco, uh, Mm -hmm, hospital, yeah right yeah um so so coming from uh neuroscience and then coming from a design background design thing and then merging them and then then you have different sorts of outcomes what are some of the key moments you discovered maybe reflect like respectively in your own uh, practices like what are some of the aha moments you found out from participants and people where you discovered something that maybe you were not expecting to see in the way they behaved or um, worked as a team. You mean kind of moments where you would say, this is a, a moment in teamwork where I would think, oh, can't we have find a solution if we look at the neuroscience literature for this, something like this? Yeah, or? it's like you, you discovered something that you were not expecting to see from your point of view or perspective where you see, okay, this can be interesting to explore better. 
or some some another perspective to it or another side to it is to see participants realizing something they were not aware of. Anakira, do you want to go? Should I go? Oh, uh, I think it was a question for you, Caroline. Okay, it's for I, I both, both of us. Yeah, no, it's for both of us. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah it fell for both of us. Ah, then, okay, then okay. Then I'll go because I I thought of two things. So the okay. one thing is this um, that's kind of the, the my main motivation, I would say, coming from you know when you work with teams, there's, I mean, we all know that so many startups or also companies fail because the the the, the because of team problems, and that it's really difficult to get a team. Yeah like going well and working together well and how to set up a team well and there's so many issues around this and then you look at the neuroscience literature it's never called collaboration in neuroscience really like there's so much social neuroscience and social interaction it's mainly how it's called um and there's like so much knowledge on how people you know what's important in social action interaction what are aspects that are being researched but there's no link to teamwork and then you're like but why you know um because it's so I mean, it's it's obviously the science of, of of teamwork in a way, and we know so many psychological factors already about it, and we know how our brains work and in, in certain things. And why don't we why do we not connect this? Because you know, so many people are having problems with this, but there's literally all this amount of research on it, but there's no connection. I think that was one key moment, and then another was um, that I'm always um, like, especially if you look at design thinking, there's so much emphasis, for example, on warm ups often often and people are always like either they love doing warm-ups like funny silly games or they're like why are we doing these funny silly games really no point the whole thing doesn't make sense we're doing funny silly games and um and and then if you kind of look at neuroscience and you're like you know some of those are really just meant to um for example help establish synchronization in people's brains which is beneficial for teamwork it's like one explanation and then they're like oh oh wow yeah now it makes sense why we do funny silly games because there's actually science behind it and i now feel so much more empowered and uh, eligible to do these funny silly games that i like doing before but i couldn't really admit and and i think this for me was like one really funny and powerful realization yeah I hope I understand your question, but I think um, the first time I remember when I was surprised about how our memory works um, was when we had to, so I had Latin in my primary school, very unusual, I think. Primary school? Primary wow. school, from I the know. fifth till eighth how knowledgeable grade. knowledgeable are you? Right, right, it sounds so fancy. <laughs> um, and we had to learn like the the grammatics right all the words and how they declinate and etc and i remember i would remember these difficult things to remember by singing a song so putting a song over something i can still remember all of those things today right it's it's useless but i it was so i remembered or I thought already then oh my god this is interesting it's so easy to remember if I put a song over it or I would um, I would use a lot of visuals. Um, I would make all my notes, you know, would have all the pictures and colors and mind maps, etc. And again, um, all of this was super fun for me. And and it I think it's also the reason why I really like learning because I had such a good experience. And I just when when seeing that other people don't do it like that or, or do it differently i would think okay well this is interesting so there are differences and there are ways how you can hack basically yourself into doing or or doing stuff better so i think this sort of hacking yourself improving using the knowledge of how your brains work in your own game or in your own favor um <clears throat> were the first of sort of aha moments and then it's just yeah how can we use this for others as well and you know what it reminds me that a friend of like a good friend of mine in my neuroscience bachelor's um to remember the cranial nerves there are 12 cranial nerves yeah. she composed a song like the, the cranial nerve song and we easily remembered <laughs> all the nerves back then exactly 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 and it's this kind of for me personally i think it was <clears throat> out of own experience and self-reflection observation of myself um, that I found these interesting things. And then it's always, my brain always goes, okay, how can I use this in other contexts? How can this be useful for others as well? 
So it's a lot of self-awareness here also, I think, uh, that comes um, over time. I have one thing here that reminded me of uh, myself. Um, so obviously Italian is not my mother tongue, but I know my phone number in Italian. If you ask me to say it in any other language, I would have to think, like, you know, this, this part is always fun, so whatever you want. Cool. Hi, my name is Anna Kira Beksh. I'm Caroline Szymanski. And, and you're, you're listening, listening to, to Gut Talks. Talks. Double, double G, G U, U double, double T. T. Okay, it's <laughs> difficult with the Zoom, not exactly at the same time, huh?